to say that only black men fetishize or put on a pedestal older black women who are still attractive because you don't necessarily see that from other groups of men. When Leonardo DiCaprio sees a certain age, he bounces. You don't see most of these men taking women that are older than them at definitely not down any red carpet. The same way you can Google a fat bitch in a, lim- uh, a Lambo. You don't see these l- super wealthy white men taking women who are 10 years older than them down a red carpet. I think it's weird, though. Like, men who might say they like a certain woman who looks good that they grew up watching on TV, stuff like that. I think it's silly to equate that with them wanting to be with those women and wanting to start families with those women and have children with those women. That's a different conversation. But it is different. Black men don't have that hang-up. They have no problem promoting and uplifting and celebrating women over 50 that they think look good. I've never subscribed to that. I'm thinking like, yo, this woman is my mom's age. She's close to my grandparents' age, you know, depending on who it was. Um, that's not something you publicly be like, oh, she bad. When I'm in my mid twenties and early thirties, I'm hearing dudes in their early twenties talking about, you know, the same chicks that we grew up watching. It was weird. Cause I'm like, nah, dog, like there's a bunch of women who look just as good, who are half the age and they need to be uplifted and celebrated and promoted and boom. It's just like when the chicken Hollywood is done, there's no illusion that Hollywood, like, nah, you're too old, you're next. <laughs> News anchors, movie stars, whatever, like, they don't get the same attention. Even you see the TikTok and the stories now of them even saying it. It ain't even about hitting a wall, though. But women just naturally notice they don't get the same attention. They don't get the same looks. They don't get the same roles. They don't get the same opportunities anymore. After a certain point. But that's different with black men. Now, people argue that black don't crack and all other stuff. But, like, no. There are a handful of white female celebrity women who did look good back in the day or whatever. Or looked a little bit okay when they got past 50. Right? But you don't see white boys in abundance. Like, oh, well, I, I, I smoked the shit out of Martha Stewart. Like, like, no, nah, uh. Or what's the other one? The actress chick that looked to go well into her 50s and 60s, whatever, white lady. But they just don't do that. So the wall thing, although I don't, I think it's overstated from black men is for people. Um, because, again, it's not a problem for black men. Like, they will date women who are older than them if they find them attractive. They will even attempt to start families with them if that's a thing. But for the most part, I don't think most groups of men subscribe to that logic. I don't know. What do you think? Because I was listening to somebody make the argument, too, that, well, you thought Sarah Palin was hot or you thought this person was hot. And, yeah, but that doesn't mean I want to marry her and have children with her and start a family with her. No, it's not possible. That's not what I view that woman for. Right, if you're talking about sowing your wild oats and all that stuff, nine times a younger dude might be in that situation like this. Nick Cannon went after Mariah Carey because that's something he fantasized for. Um, J. Cole, you know, all the women he said in his song about the role models were all women who he was wrong about, obviously. But you know, Nia Long and all these Jada Pick, all these women, like they're much older than him, right? Because he grew up watching them and there's an attraction to it. Then you get famous, you be in a circle with them. Some of you time, you might have an opportunity to get close to these women, but those relationships never last. Never matriculate into anything, right? But anyways, that's my thoughts. You don't necessarily see. Now, I'm not saying there's 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 weird, creepy, nasty stuff. If you'll see the, the white dude with the 80-year-old woman and shit like that. Same with black dudes. You'll see that weird stuff. That's not, I'm talking about two attractive people. She's 10 years older than him or more, you know, and he's publicly, you know, showing affection and, oh, this is my woman and she's older than me. I don't care. You can't shame me out of it. You can't make fun of it. You know, I I got this. It's not no gimmick or nothing like that. By and large, black men don't have that issue. But 
we wonder why the same women in Hollywood are the same women in our late 30s, early 40s or whatever that are still being celebrated and put on pedestals. And now is no replacement for them. Right. Is no they're the hot. They're the mom now. They're not getting those roles. I, you can let's distinctly watch when Marissa Tomei fell off and the role she get and who she is in the movies now. Like she even did a movie playing that character. Like, you know, I'm the teacher that's washed and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they replaced her. When Megan Fox started acting trippy and started doing too much and the directors didn't want to mess with her no more, you out of Transformers. We replace you with another, another younger hot chick quick like that. Like, boom. That don't happen. We got women getting roles that aren't meant. Viola Davis was not meant for the role for Woman King. She's way too fucking old for that role. Like, it should have been somebody much younger. It should have went to Lupita, but obviously she was doing Black Panther, and that's a conflict of interest or whatever, shooting at the same time or whatnot, but it should have went to somebody like that. Or even the chick who died in Woman King, the chick who was supposed to be the so-called first black blonde Bond, <laughs> that was corny. Um, even her, she should have been the head of that role, right? A black Brit, but still, whatever. But yeah, that's my thoughts. What are yours?